So today to get started I'm going to use my Scandinavia Makeup Setting Primer. This is a silicone free primer, great for sensitive skin and won't clog pores which is great for me especially after my allergic reaction. And then I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and applying that with my complexion sponge from Real Techniques. This foundation looks yellow right now but once it sets into my skin it will match, I promise. So I'm applying that all over my face and even applying that on my lids and on top of my eyebrows. And I'm avoiding my under eye area because that's where I'm going to put on my concealer. Then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm applying that all over my face. And then I'm going in with it just, I think this is the Stars Looks um, eyeliner pencil but I'm using it for my brows because Tiffany has dark brows. Now I'm not going to do the super thin brows. I'm pretty much going to go over uh, my shape here and then I'm taking this Benefit Cosmetics spoolie and just kind of blending that into my hairs and then I'm going in with the thin brush on the other edge and straightening everything out making it clean. And do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation and just clean things up because I want those eyebrows to be sharp. I want them to be able to stab people pretty much. Then we're going in with my Kat Von D uh, makeup primer, color correcting primer, applying that all over my lids. Next I'm taking Kat Von D's Metal Matte Palette and I'm using this color Silk. This is going to be our transition shade and I'm applying that with a fluffy brush. And oh my gosh, did you guys see how huge that palette is? It's ginormous. It has the most amazing colors, the most amazing pigment, but whoa, it's huge. I love it. You definitely get more bang for your buck. So here I am um, applying it as my transition. This is a just a beautiful purple mauve color. And then I'm going to take the Manny and Makeup Geek palette. This is the color Mars. This is just a cranberry shade. And applying that on my outer corner, inner corner, and then blending that in to meet each other in the middle. So I'm avoiding the lid space area. Then I'm going to blend that out. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Tiffany, her eyeshadow is a burgundy kind of shade, so that's what I'm kind of working with here trying to get that perfect shade then I'm going in with the color velvet this is a beautiful deep burgundy color it's just so pigmented I love it and I'm only applying this on my lids then we're going to blend that out to get rid of some harsh lines that we have there Next I'm going in with the color Stone and this is a gray shade. This is going to help give my lids some depth because I don't have very much lid space so I'm going to give the illusion that my eyes are a little bit bigger and deeper. And I'm doing the same process that I did with the Mars, applying on the inner corner, outer corner and then meeting in the middle, avoiding the lid space area. So this just gives it more depth. Now I'm going in with the color Vol, and this is a beautiful shimmery purple and we're only going to apply that in the center of our lids. This is just going to give it a little bit of shine. Now I'm going in with the same black eye pencil and just lining my eyes. I'm not winging it at all 
and kind of making it a little messy. Then I'm taking this black color right here and just going to smudge that into that black liner. And then I'm going to push it up so it's going to kind of smoke out that line. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and applying that. Next I'm going in with my Kat Von D concealer. I'm going in with the lightest shade just because I want it to be a lot more dramatic. And then I'm using my Real Tex Technique sponge and blending that out. I also applied some on my chin. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and applying that letting it set for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to brush that off. Now I'm going back in with the color Mars and applying that on my lower lash line. I'm using a tapered blending brush making this line a lot thicker than I normally do just so I can have that smoky dark kind of feel. And then we're going back in with velvet and lining that below my lash line, not doing it as um, smoked out as I did Mars. Now I'm going in with eyeliner pencil and applying that on my waterline. And then we're going to smudge that out. And this is what we got so far. So I took my Christina 43 lashes and my 605 lashes and I blended them together. So I have two pairs of lashes on right here. And I just did that so they can have that messy, wispy kind of look. These lashes are really cheap too. And then I'm going to curl those together with my lashes. Now I'm taking my Hoola bronzer and I'm creating kind of a swoop, like a little J. I'm not doing a straight line for my contouring just because Tiffany has very prominent cheeks and they're very round. So I just want to give that illusion that my cheeks are a little round. Then I'm applying that on my forehead. This does not need to be perfect because she has so many shadows on her face that it's better if you do it a bit messy. So now I never do this, but... I'm contouring my nose since she's a doll and I need my big nose to look a little bit smaller. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing here and like I said she has a lot of shading on her face. So that's just pretty much what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to do the, the more than normal type thing. But I'm not going too crazy with it. And then I'm applying some around my nose just to create those shadows. Now I'm going in with my Glamour Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics. And applying this blush shade, but you can use whatever shade you want. And I'm using that on the apple of my cheeks, which I never do. But she's a doll and her cheeks are pretty red, so that's what I'm doing. Now I'm using my High Beam Highlighter from Benefit Cosmetics and applying that on the center of my nose. And then using and applying it on my Cupid's bow as well. And then I'm just going to just go over my natural um, mole on my face. So now these are 112 lashes. I'm not sure who the brand is from. It's like a no-name brand. And I'm using that for my for lashes under my lower lash line. Just because she's a doll. If anyone's curious as to what my favorite beer is, it's Modelo. Next, I'm taking my I Am Sin Sinful Lipstick. Um, I think it caught the light a lot because in person it's a lot darker. So feel free to use a dark shade. Tiffany does not wear black lipstick. It's like a deep. Um, purple shade which is what this looked like in person but now that I'm you know doing this it looks a lot lighter but anyway so yeah I kind of did the pointy lips like her lips and this is what we got I loved recreating this look and these contacts were so fun to wear I got them for my optometrist but yeah let me know what you're going to be for Halloween the outfit portion is going to be coming up right now it will have all the details in the description box below but yeah I hope you all have a happy lovely scary spooky Halloween and I'll see you next time bye loves